Oh, I killed him! Oh, damn it! Hi guys and gals, I am Joey Cruz, and I cannot wait to uncover the secret that we discovered last episode. We managed to get into Mitchell's, um, what was it, a warehouse, Mitchell's warehouse, but we discovered something is hidden underneath. I told you he's a mad scientist! I wasn't crazy! He's been busy. I'm not going to pretend to understand what all this is. What the? It's got all these names on it. Bobby Yale? Helen Moore? Oh, this is the... These are the tablets that he handed to Helen Moore. That's weird. There's pill... So there's pills bottles with athletes' names in the lab. Okay. What else have we got in here? I'm trying to think what could be going on here. I'm not entirely sure. I've got movies. Okay. That doesn't I got no idea what that's about. Okay. Remember Black said? No smoking. It's bad for the drugs. Yeah, I'm stumped, guys. I, I ain't got a clue. If I had an idea, I would tell you, but... Nada. What the heck? Hey. You're it's alright. Don't be afraid, little girl. What the fuck is going on here? I don't want to scare you. Come to get you out. I'm a friend? Let's say I'm a friend. I'm a friend, okay? Vita, no hurt. What twisted shit is going on here? Sock puppet <gasps> theater. No, no, leave them be. Oh, wait, no, maybe we should have played with them. Can we go back? Sock Puppet Theater. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to pocket them, right? I thought maybe... The thing is, I thought she was going to freak out. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was hoping for. Once upon a time... Oh god, so there was a good girl, there was a space heroine, oh hell yeah. A beautiful princess, or there was a brave seafaring girl. I'm gonna say there was a brave seafaring girl. This sounds like a fun adventure. Once upon a time, there was a brave seafaring little girl called... Brunhilda! Hi, my name is Brunhilda, and I'm very happy. <laughs> said Brunhilda, and then Brunhilda. I am very easily a beautiful entertained. Name. Really beautiful. A really beautiful name ran into someone very special. Oh, hmm. who was it? It was a, a sea cat. I'm curious what this looks like. We're going for the sea a cat. A sea cat called John. I'm a sea cat. My name is John. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, John the cat. I really like sea cats. Hi, Bird Hilda. I'm going to use my seafaring wisdom to help you. Um, fill some colored balloons, bake some delicious pies. Um, get out, of, get out of, ooh, this is an interesting choice. I wonder if it really is impactful or not. I'm going to say, get out of a cage? Get out of a cage, too. You say silly things, John the Cat. So what are you going to help me do? Okay. I think we don't want to go for any monsters, anything to do with being caged up. So we are going to fill some colored balloons. Fill up a bunch of colored balloons. Ha! 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 I love balloons. What's your favorite balloon color? Wow, Black. that's a very hard question. <laughs> but John the Cat... It's the easiest question in the world. Let me show you how easy it is. My favorite balloon color is... 
pink. Pink. Well, Brunilda, mm. that's exactly what I was about to say. Bear. That bear is scary. <laughs> John Brunhinda Front From the sound of her voice, I think she She's got some kind of accent, like it's not that she can't speak, she just doesn't speak English. Each look. Uh, uh she's German. I think she's German. Okay. Hi, bird. <laughs> Why are you wearing that mask? Well mm, uh, uh, well, maybe we <laughs> should get out of here. What do you think, Bird? And what about you, Boonhead? Mm -hmm. Don't you think that? Uh... Did she just... We just collapsed? Wait, what the... What the shit? Act like a good dad. She needs looking after. I'm not even, I'm not sure what animal she's supposed to be, but she don't look healthy. Man. This story just got more intriguing on levels I was not even expecting. Okay, let's, uh, uh -huh. she's got sports cards. Good job, Bonhilda. I don't know if there's anything else here. Okay. I said it last episode, and I'm sure we're about to get caught by Mitchell. Hmm, yeah, I think we're on the way out now. Wait, ooh. Sports card. That's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! It's such like a simple thing, but for some reason, I'm the type of person that really gets us sucked into collecting all, getting all the collectibles and uh, achievement hunting and so on. I'm not like super hardcore. Some people are really hardcore about it, but I just really love collecting things. Um, now I don't see what the next option is. Hmm. No, there's, there's nothing there. Oh wait, no, we did miss something. A list of names? Somehow related to chemical agents? Yale is on a pill bottle. There's a list of names that somehow relate to the medical components. I think we found everything. And we got a new deduction. Let's quickly take a look at the deductions and see if we can't... Well, there's only one deduction available, so let's see if we can't solve it. I'm thinking, during the war, Dunn and his pals were known as the Olympic Five. And who's the guy passing for Yale's doctor? Oh, that was right. First time. Nice. Mitchell, who fought with Dunn during the war, tried to pass as Yale's doctor. Yale's fake doctor. We'll double check in here again, but I'm pretty sure we found everything we can down here. Okay, the thing I'm piecing together in my mind so far is that she was brought over from Germany during the war. Which, I don't remember what year it is in this universe. It's enough times that she wouldn't have grown up. Some of the stuff she was saying, I don't speak German, but it's got a sort of German sound to it. But she's been brought over for something. Oh, I missed a bunch of stuff over here. Okay. Oh. Damn. He got all the sports cards. Hmm. Ooh, that's got her name on it. Hey, the tape black said. Oh. I feel like we're about to learn some truths. 
Subject, Brunhilde Gruner. Treatment, day 1500. The patient's ability to speak continues to diminish. Now she can only pronounce the occasional word in German. Tissue degeneration persists. And yet, perhaps due to drastic reduction of benzylprodine dosage and an increase of anupropion, we have observed a 3% of deceleration of said degeneration. What the hell has been going on? And perhaps this is the best finding so far. The subject exhibits a mild recovery of her speaking. It's not a lot, and yet... We are on the right track. All hope is not lost. Yeah, they didn't tell me a lot. Hmm. Oh! Are they trying to somehow deteriorate the performance of athletes with a drug and the initial testing of the drug has been tried on this girl? Oh, damn. So can we now pick up some of these? Yeah, let's check it out. Spano. Subject, Craig Spano. Treatment, De Zero. The subject is a veteran baseball player who has lost speed, strength, and agility due to the regular aging process. The patient refers intense pain on the right scapula, most likely caused by an old injury. The goals of our medical approach are twofold. To relieve pain, caused by the prior injury so that the subject can play without symptoms and to help the patient regain the physical condition lost in the aging process, thus allowing him to perform at elite levels. Oh, the opposite of what I was saying. Treatment. Day 120, the patient no longer feels pain when using his right arm, circumstance that allows him to pitch without fear. So far, the only side effect seems to be a slight euphoria experienced three hours after dosage, which subsides four hours later, taking the patient on an emotional roller coaster of sorts with bouts of mild trembling. Treatment, day 341. Moments of euphoria and boosted physical performance have become increasingly short while the ensuing periods of depression and weakness have become longer, including severe trem. Although we have met all therapeutic goals, we will proceed to terminate the treatment. In order to avoid causing irreparable physical and mental damage to the patient, Okay. Literally the opposite of what I first said. I think it's deduction time again. Let's see what we can do. Let's say there's pill bottles with athletes names in the lab. Spano enhanced his performance by using drugs. There's a third one. I'm guessing Mitchell, one of the Olympic five, tried to pass up a scales doctor. Oh no, that's not correct. Okay, so let's try those two again. But this time, we're going to say a list of names that are somehow related to that rare comical, uh, chemical compound. Comical. <laughs> Mitchell is cashing in by selling drugs to enhance athletes' performances. Hmm, I'm just... Maybe that girl who is all, you know severely underweight and struggling to speak 
Maybe that's maybe that's just the side effects of the enhancing drugs as it was in development. I'm not sure. And now that they've tested it, it's now um, it now works as an enhancing drug. We're gonna try say Spado's health took a toll after using the drugs, and Mitchell sells athletes drugs to enhance their performance. That's the one. The worst part of Mitchell's scheme isn't that it's illegal or unethical. It's that he didn't even care about compromising the athlete's health. Yeah, that's probably why Bobby Gale has had a... got a heart attack. Groon's drugs has unwanted side effects. Yeah, I... I swear, that's going to be the reason he had a heart attack. Can we get out of here? Uh-oh. Yep, he's here. And I bet he's armed. Gil? Oh no. No, you're not allowed down here. You know. All right, you're ready. You oh, oh I don't even have a quick time event. Right Yo, this guy doesn't seem like the bad know. guy. You don't know. Oh wait, no, he did test the drugs on the girl. Uh, you ruined Spano's career. You tested the drugs on that girl. That's the worst thing. I know you're testing drugs on that girl. Brunhilde? No. Oh, I knew he was going to say this. My daughter. Oh, I see. She was born with a degenerative disease, a rare condition similar to the Angelman syndrome. There are only four known cases like hers, and none of the patients reached the age of five. But I couldn't give up. I continued to research and found something. It didn't make her better, but anyway, that same treatment used on healthy subjects seems to improve their stamina and their reflexes. It also seems to improve their pain threshold. Somehow, the Reich heard about my experiments and tried to recruit me to create super soldiers. Holy shit. <laughs> This is getting yes. serious. That Reich. We're talking late 30s, Berlin. I escaped with Brunhilde and came to your country. But the American military also heard about me. I spent the entire war experimenting with drugs on soldiers. Some were highly effective, I must say. When the war was over, my experiments were discarded. I was forbidden all access to the drugs, and Brunhilde got worse. But then God sent me Angus Mitchell. We had met during the war, and he came to offer me a deal. I would make drugs for athletes, and he would sell them. With my earnings, I could pay for Brunhilde's treatment. What else do you want me to say? That makes... I mean, that's tragic. I had a good feeling about him anyway. Uh, damn. And also, things are starting to be a lot clearer now. So, let's say um, you keep Brunhilde alive, but the price is high. So you're keeping Brunhilde alive? But the price is high. A price I'm more than glad to pay. You're not a father, are you? No. Look, I'm not proud of what I do. But I don't have a choice. About those pills. Could you imagine if he just does a 180 and he was lying the whole time? He draws out his other gun. Let's see now. What is he looking at? Uh oh. Oh, cutie. No. Oh, we didn't even get a chance to defend ourselves. Oh, crap. Oh, don't dwell on it, Josh. You had to tell him the truth in order to protect Brunhilda. I would have done the same thing. Finish packing up your things and stop torturing yourself, okay? Thanks, Angus. I won't be long. Oh, honey. You like living here? 
Yeah, me too. But we have to go somewhere else, and it's all that bad cat's fault. Yes, sweetie. We're going to a new home now. A prettier one. And you'll be happier there. Now go with wow. Papa, honey. Give him a kiss. Go on. Give him a kiss. Go on. <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry about this, Josh, but... We gave it our best, didn't we? Huh? Oh, what? no. What do you mean, Angus? I wish... It hadn't come to this. Nah, nah. Angus, what's wrong? Goodbye, Josh. Don't you need him? Okay, I'm ready, like, give Oh, shit. He's straight up sinister. I hope you're happy, you son of a bitch. They were good people. Yeah, give him one. I hope that made you feel better. I like it when you smile. You're so far from the truth. Wait, is he stuck? Ah, <laughs> son of a bitch. Quick, uh, come on, space bar, come on. Oh my god, I'm mashing so hard. Oh. Wait. I didn't get shot. D. S. Oh, I've said it out loud. I'm trying to make sure I don't fail this. Oh, we need to move. We need to get the... Okay, no, no, no. Wait, why can't I? Why is Black Sad not moving? Oh, wait, no. We're choosing options. The mask would oh, I'm the panicking. Time. The question was, how much? I was panicking. Okay. We need to be smart. Oh. Wait. Oh! Hey! No, no, don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. I don't know what it Spell means. Just yep. ran out that way. Cool. That was close. We almost just... We almost missed that. What was Spano doing here the whole time, though? Come on, Black Sad. Get a move on. Okay, we need to... Ah, I'm sure you can hear me mashing that space ball. Don't tell me we didn't make it. Get out of here! We didn't make it! I know you can't tell just from watching this, but the amount that you need to press the space bar is nuts. This is going to be close. Quick! Are you joking? What? Did I press the... I must have pressed the wrong button or something. Come on, not this time. Oh, I think we did it. Or well, we're going to have to do it again. Yep. Yeah. Quick! Quick! Let's get the hell out of here. Man, this filter ain't that good on the gas mask, is it? Woo! The mask was very <laughs> Sorry, wet. guys. I needed fresh air. Yeah, that's clear, isn't it? Technically, I've died three times. Or however many times it was, I'm losing track. Man, I'll be ba I better be getting paid well for this. What is that? There was a bottle of Sparrow's name on it in the ventilation shaft. Shaft, not saft. Go on. Get in. Yes, mate. Thank you. Holy shit! 
Look at those red eyes. Man, he looked like a zombie or something. Those drugs must have a real bad effect on him. We made it. Yo, why is he running off? Greg Fatto is back! <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> oh, those drugs are... Those drugs are hitting! What the hell? <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> Alright then. <laughs> Those drugs are bad news. Yep. Heart attack. I missed that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I was doing that wrong. Are you joking? God damn it! I screwed up the... Oh, I killed him! Oh, damn it! Because I'm so used to those uh, quick time events being press it as fast as you can, but no, that one, it's... you got to press it at the end, and I just couldn't... Oh, damn it. I feel bad. He saved me, but I couldn't save him. Don't torture yourself. You did everything you could. Will he make it? The doctors think so. They found him unconscious by the basement door. What? Oh, we're talking about that uh, that horse. I was thinking, I thought they meant uh, Spano. I was going to say, how? I saw where he died. Okay, I see. The cops found Gil close to the basement door. Mitchell was trapped in the basement. Oh, that's how we got trapped in. Because he hates his guts. It all makes sense. Could Gil have blocked the basement door from the outside to kill Mitchell? You think? That's a serious accusation. Are you sure, or is this just a theory of yours? Ah, uh, well, it's just a theory. We don't have to say I'm positive. It's just a theory. Let's hope we get the truth out of him. Huh. I don't want to put him in it, because he seems like an Gil all right guy, even though he's trying to shoot what me. What if it was Gil who killed his partner, Randall Lee, under Mitchell's orders? Another serious accusation. Are you sure? Again, I'm just going to say it's a theory. I don't want to drop him in no. it. I'm not sure yet. Because we don't really know that. But it very well could be the case. Wait. Couldn't Mitchell be Randall Lee's murderer? I guess that's true as well. But he's not... Well, I don't know. I was going to say he's not a sniper. He was in the Air Force, but then... I don't know. Oh, well. I mean, that would explain it as well. He missed two shots at point-blank range. And then... It was a sniper that killed Randall Lee. But then, you know, so very different situations. Two shots at point blank range, and then he hits a guy smack in the forehead from across the street? No. The hospital he had Mitchell time. Mitchell is not the sniper who wiped out Randall Lee. Yeah, I guess you're right. But we still don't know what I mean, the logic makes sense death. anyway. I'm just thinking, you know, there's panic versus if you're a sniper and you've you're undetected and you got time, but I'm getting very technical now. Now I think we do Spano's bit. So here's he got his strength. Mitchell's Mitchell's drug helps overcome physical limitations, but 
he died shortly after regaining his strength. Powerful stuff. There's no doubt about it. Spano took drugs from the lab and they killed him. But if that were true, how many more athletes are in danger? A lot. And most importantly, who are they? Is Bobby Yale involved? Who are they? Let's not hold the names. Let's tell them. I didn't see them all, but write down these names. Peter Lowe, Xavier Chains, Helen Moore, Bill Goldman, Miles Benton. He got right right out of He's in a sling. Jacob Ziegler, and yes, Bobby Yale. Thanks. Saving lives for a change, huh? In any case, what does that this mean? has got to stop. We're friends, damn it. You should have warned me about this. I don't trust cops. <laughs> let's not say that. I should have called you. Uh, let's say I should have called you. Let's I should have side with you know. him. I'm sorry. Hey, John. Surprise. It could have given a tip to a friend, don't you think? Or is that only the case when, uh, when I help you? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that confused me a little Get bit. Get that guy out of here. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, I'd, I'd get moving weekly. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Weekly. Let's get this over with. When the war ended, Mitchell convinced Groon to use his super soldier drugs on the lead athletes. Somehow, Dunn found out about Mitchell's scheme. So when Mitchell heard that Dunn was on to him, he ordered Randall Lee to kill him and frame Yale for the murder. Then, he made Randall search Dunn's house and the gym for any incriminating evidence he might have had against him. The poor cleaning lady died almost by chance. When you stuck your nose in the oh case, God. he tried to scare you by sending his thugs to give you a beating. And when that didn't work, he asked Randall Lee to finish you off on the gym rooftop. But Randall not only failed, he got captured. So Mitchell ordered Gil to put a bullet through his head, which only made Gil upset. You kept getting closer and closer to the point of discovering his headquarters. When Mitchell realized he was cornered, he burned his bridges by setting the lab on fire along with Dr. Groon and his daughter. I was gonna Gil say... saw the opportunity to get back at Mitchell, so he blocked the only exit so that he would also die in the fire. Did I leave any loose ends? Just a few. But don't worry about it. I'll take care of them now. So I guess thanks for everything. Yeah, I was gonna say, I suppose if he kills the doctor, he... He can't produce the drug anymore. But then I, I guess the idea is he's just, he's just trying to avoid prison. He doesn't really care anymore. In your classic noir films and novels, solving a case never amounts to a happy ending. The detective is always left with a sense of bitterness. A feeling that, before he took the case, the world was a better place. That he was a better person. Come on, now speed it out! Okay. That was a lot, man. That was, that was pretty intense. We learned a lot, I think. And I don't know this, but I think the next episode is going to be the last one where we tie up all the loose ends. Thank you so much for playing this game with me. I've been having so much fun with it so far. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like because it really helps me out and it helps the channel out a lot as well. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. I am very easily entertained. Name.